All right, in this video, we're going to create a box to mill on the CNC machine with Autodesk Inventor. So on your desktop, you're going to open up Autodesk Inventor. It should look like an icon that looks just like this guy right here. And <clears throat> when you open up Autodesk, it's going to uh, look just like this. So this is kind of your home screen here. And so the first thing that we want to do to be able to create the box is create a, a new part. And so if you can click on new here um, and it'll give you a little dialog box or you can click this little guy right here, new part, and that's going to open this up. Now I gave you um, a drawing sheet, so this should look familiar in Canvas. And so this particular video, we're going to focus on creating the box bottom, all right, using uh, Autodesk here. So we're going to go, uh, so once we're into our new part, this is our design window. We're going to start out by creating a new 2D sketch. So uh, you can click on this part, but I usually just click up top and that goes straight to a 2D sketch. And <clears throat> the next thing it's asking us here now is select a plane to draw this sketch on. So uh, since this part is kind of facing up, we're going to draw on the top plane right here. So that would be this one. So I'm just going to click on that. And then you'll notice we are now in a drawing view. So. This little cube uh, is kind of tells us what view we're looking at. So it says we're looking at the top plane. We are turned a little bit, so I'm going to flip that. So now we're actually reading top the way it's supposed to be there. Um, I can use the, the center little roller in the mouse to kind of zoom in and zoom out. Or if you press the roller, you can kind of move the screen around to uh, get a better view of, say, you know, something over here, or whatever. All right, so we have our drawing tools up top. We're going to use um, you can so line, circle, arc, uh, rectangle for uh, for what we're doing. We're probably going to use the rectangle tool for most of it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the rectangle tool. I'm going to click once at the origin, and then I'm going to move out, and then just click where I want to place the second corner, and then we'll hit escape to get out of the rectangle tool. So you can see this is highlighted in blue. So anytime that's highlighted in blue, it's still trying to draw a rectangle. So if I hit escape, now you'll see that that blue went away and I can just highlight this and delete that. But, um, all right, so the next thing I need to do is according to the box bottom drawing sheet, this rectangle that is going to be the, the box is eight inches by four inches. Uh, so we need to adjust our rectangle here to be that eight by four. So I'm gonna use the dimension tool. Click on that, you'll see it highlights blue. I'm gonna click on this line once, move up and click again. And then I can say, well, that's supposed to be eight inches and hit enter. Then I'll click once and click again. And this should be four inches, enter. So again, we're still trying to place dimensions. I'm done with dimensions, so I'm gonna hit escape which that goes away. And then we were going to finish that sketch. All right, now it kind of turned and zoomed in weird. So I'm gonna hit the little, use the cube, hit the little home button here. Sorry about that. Hit the home button, and then that'll kind of focus it out so we can see the whole thing here, zoom it out. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we now have our base shape but I need to be able to turn this 2D shape or into a 3D model. So we're going to use the extrude tool. So when I click on extrude, it automatically, usually it's going to ask you to select a profile, but since I only had one shape, it auto selected that profile. So the next thing it says, how far do you want to extrude? Well, according to the box bottom, if I were to extrude from this point all the way up to the very top surface, that would be a half inch. That would get me to this surface. And then I need to go another quarter inch to get to the top. So let's just go ahead and go all the way to the top. We're going to make it 0.75 and hit OK. So now in part one, the extrusion, um, you can see went to 0.75 and then, uh, you know, in this direction. So we'll hit OK on that. By the way, you can always edit things. That's what's nice about this. If I say, oh man, I made the, the part the wrong size, I can always look under the extrusion, 
there's the sketch. We can double click on the sketch, double click on the measurement, make it nine inches, finish sketch, and then you'll see that it adjusts. So I'm going to move that back to eight and finish sketch. Okay. All right. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to create this hole, this pocket that's in the bottom, the bo box bottom. Okay, so that so what we're going to do to do this is we're actually going to draw a rectangle that is 2.73 wide and 6.73 long. And then we're going to position that rectangle 0.26 inches off of the edge. Or no, no, it would be 0.26 plus this. So that would be 0.38 plus 0.26. Okay, so we can do that. All right, so we're going to do that by creating another sketch. This time, the planes aren't going to show up because we already have an initial sketch. So we just have to tell where we want to sketch. So you can see I got my little pen and paper there next to my mouse pointer. And I'm going to choose this surface to sketch on. Then we'll just click on that and move that to the middle. And we're going to do the same thing, rectangle tool. I'll just click somewhere about here, somewhere about there. And we're going to put in our dimensions again. So I'll hit Escape, Dimension. This one was 2.73. Hit Enter. And then this one was 6.73. Okay. And then we have to dimension it from the edge. And uh, I'm not going to do the math in my head, but we said that it had to be 0.26 plus 0.3. It's actually 0.375. So we'll do 0.375 plus 0.26, and that gives me 0.635 there. And if we want to double check, we can click and click. That's 0.635 there, so that's... Um, that's equal on both sides, and that's what we want. So again, to place that measurement, that was a little bit different. I said from here, that's one click, to here, that's another click, and then I click to place it, and I say 0.26 plus 0.375. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So from here to here, and then place 0.26 plus 0.375. All right. <clears throat> Now, you'll notice that the pocket in the middle here is not exactly round. The machine that we're using to cut this out has round bits, so I have to use a round corner because I can't cut a square pocket with a round bit. So we'll, um, we'll use another tool that makes that easy, and we're going to use what's called the fillet tool. And the fillet tool, we'll click on that. We're going to adjust our fillet to 0.5 inches. That's the radius. And I'm just going to say I want to fillet this line and this line. So click, click, and you'll see it places a, a tangent fillet. So we'll do that all the way around. And we'll hit escape to get out of the fillet tool. Okay, I'm ready to create a pocket, so we're going to finish the sketch there. We're going to go to extrude again, but this time instead of like adding material, we have the option, <clears throat> so this, this join adds material. So if I go ahead and I select, see how the profile is highlighted in blue? And then it's telling me down here on the left to select a profile. So I'm going to select what I just drew, click. You'll see that if I leave it on join, it wants to add material. But if I click on cut, it'll take material away. And then it gives me the option of how much cut or how much joining do I want to do. According to our drawing sheet, we're going to drop 0.6 inches. So we'll go back here. We're going to adjust this to 0.6, and then we're going to hit OK. All right, so now we have the pocket in there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create this outer, this outer profile. So in other words, we're going to, we're going to cut the, the outside part of this down as well. We know that this is 0.375, That's, that got rounded, so that should be 0.375, and then um, all the way around the edge. So let's do that. Okay, we're going to do a new sketch on top of here. 
click top to center that. And again, I'm going to do a rectangle, and I'm going to just go from here, say here. All right, <clears throat> and now I'm going to hit Escape, get out of the rectangle tool, and we're going to use another tool that we need. This one's called Project Geometry. So I already drew this outer shape, right? We already, we already made the box, but now I just want to pull these lines into this current sketch. So that goes and it borrows lines from the previous sketches, pulls it into this one. So if I just click Project Geometry, hover over this until everything highlights, I can click, and you can see now those lines are in our sketch as well. And that's going to be useful because I can dimension now from here to here. And we said that that was 0.375, and then this one is also 0.375. Okay. <clears throat> now, according to the sketch, this distance from this line to this line needed to be 0.26. That's an important one, so make sure it's going to throw an error, say it's over-constrained. But you can just click on it without placing it and see that that is indeed 0.26 inches. And that needs to be the same all the way around the box. So we'll hit Escape and get out of that. We're going to use the Fillet tool again, leaving it at 0.5, putting a radius here, here. Here, 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 here. Okay, finish sketch. And this time we'll extrude, and we're going to choose the profile of this outer edge. Don't click here. Click on this outer edge, and you'll see that it wants to join initially, but we're going to change that to cut, and we're only going to drop it 0.25 inches. Hit OK. And there we have it. <clears throat> we have the box bottom. So make sure you save your part. So we'll go to File, Save. This is not Google Docs. It's not going to save it automatically. And then you're going to save it as your name, Box Bottom.